never thought I would ever say the words broccoli and bad in one sentence. However, such is the nature of science. Now, I'm sure you want to know as fast as possible why broccoli could even be remotely unhealthy for us. First, it's important to remember that broccoli is a type of cruciferous vegetable that was very recently introduced to the human diet around 2000 to 2500 years ago. So it's not a food that our genetics have been exposed to for millions of years compared to something like red meat. For more on why red meat is actually a superfood, check out the video I filmed on the topic. I will also link it in the description box below. Also, broccoli belongs to the toxic mustard family of vegetables, which includes plants such as cabbage, kale, bok choy, collards, kohlrabi, Brussels sprouts, and cauliflower. As to how broccoli could be bad for us, this is why. They contain chemicals called glucosinolates. These are toxic chemicals that are used by the plant as a self-defense mechanism against predators such as insects, animals, or humans. When eaten, glucosinolates produce mustard oils that contain a toxin called erucic acid, which has been shown to be harmful for heart health in rodent models. That is actually the reason why mustard oil is not allowed for cooking in the United States. In addition, glucosinolates interfere with iodine uptake by the thyroid gland, which can suppress the activity of your thyroid hormones. You don't want a slow functioning thyroid gland as that could lead to weight gain, low energy, brain fog, depression, and countless other symptoms. For that reason, if you have any chronic symptoms that are decreasing the quality of your life, such as skin issues, sleep issues, joint pain or chronic fatigue and brain fog you may want to consider the possibility that certain plant foods humans are eating may not be the healthiest foods remember that no living organism wants to be eaten animals have the advantage of running away from us or attacking us plants are immobile so they resort to defending themselves by producing toxic chemicals that are designed to weaken their predator, whether that's an insect, an animal, or a human. To learn more about this concept, check out the video I filmed on the topic. I will also link it in the description box below. I will also link items in the description box that I think you might be interested in, such as this Amazon halo band I'm wearing, the earrings I'm wearing, and scientific references for the content that I have covered. All right, that's it for this video. If you like this content, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, then hit that notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you the very next time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.